All right, so here we have our Tiny Scan TS301 EFI ECU engine scanner. And this is going to be the High Sun adapter. It does also come with adapters for Kohler and Briggs and Stratton as well. And so where we're going to start is by taking the dust cover off of the diagnostic port. Pinch your tab there and just pull the dust cover out. At this time, we'll connect the diagnostic scanner. And when you first plug it in, you'll see the status light blink green, which means it's making connection. It takes about 30 seconds to boot up. Do not start the engine, but go ahead and key it to the on position. And then on your smartphone, once the unit has time to boot up, the tiny scanner will offer its own Wi-Fi access point. If not already selected, select the TS301 Wi-Fi access point. And then at this time, we recommend using Google Chrome. Open a Chrome browser and enter the IP address for your TS301. It's also lo the IP address is also located on the back of the scanner itself. At this point, we're going to want to select MTD Delphi 1. And this shows the home menu. So you can um, clear code, trouble codes, read trouble codes, read parameters, get live data from gauges, and you can also uh, capture data and then graph it as well. So here we'll go ahead and start the engine. So you'll notice the engine's cut off because it's no longer getting fuel. And then our device, we will rescan for current codes. Now we'll notice that the injector malfunction code has, has set off, being that it's not getting any fuel. So at this time, we'll replug the injector in. And we're going to go ahead and clear the codes by selecting clear current DTC codes. Once it says DTC cleared, you can then rescan for current codes and it will show no error codes stored. Now going back to the home menu, we'll go ahead and start up the engine again, that way we can see live data. Now this is going to capture the 
data that's currently being fed to the scanner from the end unit system. Now what we'll do is hit stop capture. And then to graph this data, we can go back to home menu, go to graphs, we can select the most recent captured data, and hit display. Graphs out the data that was read. And that completes how to use the Tiny Scan 301. Alright, so in order to access your diagnostic port for the Tiny Scan 301 scan tool, we'll start by popping the front of the seat base up and we'll just slide it forward and out of the way. We'll then want to access the access panel under the seat and remove it. Now underneath, right on top of the engine, you'll notice the cross member coming across and this white connector duct uh, zip tied to it. This is gonna be your engine diagnostic port. It's gonna be the same relative to all UTVs. All right, so in order to find our diagnostic port on an ATV, we'll first start by reaching behind the seat and releasing the seat latch and lifting up. Go ahead and remove the seat. And at this time, you'll see the white diagnostic scanner scan port right underneath the seat there.